Aaron, your first taste of Southampton v Bournemouth, how did you find it? Yeah, I thought it was it was tasty in the first half, especially being behind the behind the goal of uh, the Bournemouth fans and the last Southampton fans and uh, credit to our fans, they didn't stop singing all day. And um oh, we could have we could have been three 0 up if it wasn't for an offside and thought we started the game brilliantly and um yeah, all the way through we defended impeccably, yeah. And for you, some fine saves. How difficult is it to, you know, stay composed when you know they're coming at you and they're giving everything to try and get a goal? How how difficult is it to, you know, stay concentrating? I think it's quite easy to be honest. Obviously, that's part and parcel of being a goalkeeper. If you don't have that, then you probably don't make it into my position where I am now, um, or even lower. So, um, I think they're one of the main strengths of that most of the top keepers have, especially in this league. And 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 higher you go, they they have zero mistakes. So. Um, for me, uh, it's, um, it's, it's it's quite easy to go through the game concentrated. But uh, like I said, I think the the lads were concentrated today, and we we uh, we fought for the three points, and I thought we deserved it. It was very hard fought indeed. And Steve Cook and Nathan Ake, they were a rock in front of you, weren't they? Yeah, headed everything, cleared everything. Um, love a clean sheet. So cheers for the penalty, Steve. Uh, but now nah, um, we defend, like you say, we defended that's, uh, defended everything. Um, Every ball which came into the box, I think we cleared, got first contact on, the midfield boys ratted, so, and it was a real team effort, look at the goal at the end, um, Callum Wilson still running, Josh King's out on his feet, so, um, yeah, it's a good day at the office for us. And we see the goals at the end and we also see your celebrations up the other end, just celebrate that, just let us know that, what that feeling is like when you know you see that, that ball go in at the other end and you know you can celebrate at the other. Um, it's quite lonely, so I just try and wind up, I can wind up in the, in the stands, but... Um, I just have fun, like, like I said before in interviews, I, I play football to have fun, it's my, my hobby um, and when we score, I'll give everything for this team, so when we score, um, all my passion comes out, all my enjoyment and uh, it's like I scored myself, so um, yeah, there'll be a few knee slides and a few jumps and a few running around, probably, which deserves maybe better goals, but if it's a tap in, I'll still celebrate the same. And back-to-back -back wins up to third in the Premier League doesn't get much better, does it? Uh, we should be on more points, but the past two weeks we we, we couldn't do any better now. Um, it's very early on, but it puts us in a good position in the in the league. Obviously, the, the all the rest of the teams have got played over the weekend, but um, like I say, we're in a good position, so um, we'll digest it. We'll go again on Wednesday against Burton, um, and then we'll go again next weekend. And just finally, Burton, as you said, in the Cup on Wednesday and then back at home with West Ham on the weekend. It's a big week coming up and important to keep that consistency. Yeah, most definitely. Um, it's been quite strange playing Sunday and Friday, so it's been a tough turnaround. And then again with a Wednesday and then, like you say, we got back in the Premier League action on, on the Saturday. So um, I'm sure there'll be uh, chances for other lads to, to, to play and, um, and put a good case in for the manager. So um, And then it's up to the lads who he picks against West Ham so uh, first and foremost we're going to enjoy tonight and um, and then we're going to go to Burton to win and then we'll, then we'll look to West Ham, we're not looking too far ahead at the moment.